Welcome back to G-Ball Vision, everyone. Thank you for stopping in today. I have an exciting unboxing to dig into for you coming in from TRM. Before we get started, double check and make sure you are subscribed here to the channel. I'd love to have you hit that thumbs up button. It really helps push these videos out there so more people have a chance to check them out. Let me know what you're carrying in your pockets today down there in the comments. Love hearing from you and what you are carrying for the day. Huge shout out to Hillary and everyone over at TRM for sending this in for us to take a look at. If you don't know, TRM is a U.S. company producing U.S. knives. And they have quite a fine selection of knives. Nice little card there and another card. Please do not oil me too much. And what we are looking at is the Magna Cut Holy Nerd. So I believe this is the newest nerd that they have. The Magna Cut Holy Nerd here with the titanium handles. Now, I did bring out the shadow because I thought, just from pictures, uh, I've never handled this knife before. I thought from pictures it kind of reminded me of a, a mini shadow and we'll have to bring that out here in a moment but we do have that similar modified sheep's foot blade stone wash looks really nice as always on trm's great fit and finish really solid edges right out of the box you have the cut out there for deployment nice clicky detent Magna Cut for the blade steel. There you can see the TRM USA Magna Cut. And then we have the sculpted 3D titanium milled handles. The micro milling in there looks phenomenal. They have several different uh, titanium handle options that they, they offer. And they have some that run completely horizontal they have this style here where they're kind of just diagonal and then they have a kind of diamond textured uh, pattern and there might even be others that I'm not familiar with we have their standard deep carry fold over titanium clip and some of the best pocket clips in the game I've actually bought a couple of the TRM clips here to go on other knives so let's see what this looks like in the pocket here with our issuing stitches hank there'll be a tiny tiny little bit of that butt end sticking out but that will carry pretty deep and good retention on that pocket clip as well so this knife is definitely going to be more in that for me personally, that fifth pocket size secondary carry. For instance, here is the TRM Shadow, the knife that I think this is kind of the mini of. Uh, and you can definitely see some, some differences there, especially going out to the tip. But I think other than that, these are very similar. Like they could be Big Brother little brother type of a deal definitely can tell that they are the same family that is the shadow with the river lock there but just wanted to bring that out and kind of look at them in the same same light here but they definitely you can definitely tell it's trm family and they kind of resemble each other to me now you might be asking what is the size of this thing so for cutting edge, we are looking at like two and an eighth to maybe two and three sixteenths. Two and a quarter of total uh, total blade there. And coming down there around five and a half overall. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. But I think that's going to put this in the category of like the baby banter, the small Mylea, maybe the little Main Street here. 
I have all those knives, but I don't know where all of them are. But yeah, that's exactly the size right there. So this is TRM's version of a very premium kind of fifth pocket knife, that smaller folder. I don't want to keep calling it a fifth pocket knife. That's what it is to me, but I can, you know, definitely see many people this being their only primary knife. Females would carry this as their, you know, primary knife as well. So, but it's a fifth pocket knife to me. But one thing I really like about this one, and it's kind of, you know, the, the little main street here, I love this knife, but I can only get three fingers on this thing no matter what. With the Nerd here, because of the design of the handle and this nice choil area here, I can just get a nice, I can get a full grip on this. You know, not something I'd want to be really bearing into for an extended period, but if I needed to grab a hold of this thing, with a good grip, uh, I could do that. Ton of control over this blade. And because of the size of this knife, I mean, pretty much, whether you're choked up in that choil or not, you'll be able to be able to use that tip for more precise work if need be. So that is going to be fantastic. The edge looks beautiful. Scales look phenomenal. And uh, I believe TRM has another new model being released very soon. Speaking of that edge, why don't we go ahead and see what that thing is hitting for here. If I can be sure of myself and what I'm doing. I'm out of my rhythm a little bit. I just got done being sick for... A week and didn't really record anything yeah very very nice edge as always from TRM this knife is going to be on washers and I believe that is why they're saying don't put too much oil in there more oil or, you know, an excess of oil is just going to cause you issues around that pivot with a washer knife like this or any washer knife for that matter. You want to let those washers break in. That is what's ultimately going to give you a smoother action. I'm not going to say a drop shut action or anything like that, but what is going to give you a smoother action is when those washers break in. Uh, they are naturally going to be lubricating. It took me a few washer knives to figure out what at least my favorite, you know, process or the way I want to do it is. And, you know, I don't even take a washer knife apart like this. I will let this rock for a week or two and see, you know, what happens. And typically it breaks in very nicely maybe drop a dab of oil or two in there and it's good to go um that's what i have found i you know i used to think oh i gotta take it apart i mean if you feel a bunch of grittiness and and so on then yeah sure but me personally i want to let these washers break in get their path going and then maybe put a dab or two of oil in there to kind of keep things free flowing very nicely very very nice from trm this thing this thing is cool when i initially saw this i thought for sure it would be you know i didn't look at it really closely i guess but i thought for sure i'd only be able to get three fingers on it but sure enough i can get all of them and that's going to give you a ton of control over this blade if you need. Uh, and some people live in this wheelhouse for uh, their favorite size of a folder, which I get that. I, you know, there's plenty of edge here to do what you need uh, with a basic folding knife. 
great utility knife type size. This will do 99% of, you know, anything you would need a folding knife to do. Uh, definitely surprised by this and can definitely see putting this in my pocket as a nice backup to this fella right here. I think that'd be a nice solid one-two punch. You guys will have to let me know. What do you think of the TRM Magna Cut? Holy nerd there. Huge shout out to them for sending that in for all of us to take a look at. Really appreciate it. Everyone, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. I always appreciate that. If you're new here, we release different EDC videos every single day. Hit that subscribe button. Ring the little bell. I'd love to have you here. I'll put up a couple of new videos. Go check one of them out. Have yourself an awesome day. Thank you all again for watching. I will catch you on the next one.